In this video, I'll show you how to create this cool text animation in less than 5 minutes. Let's dive right into it. If you want to follow along this video, you can find the Figma file in the description below. I already have the layout of my hero section ready, so the first step will be to prepare my headline text. For that, I will make a copy, I will select my text and drag it here, pressing the Option key in Mac. My goal here is to split this in three sections. We'll have the first line and then the second line we're going to split it in two sections because he, this is fixed and this will have the carousel effect. So I will make another copy here. I will remove the second line and for this one I will remove the first line. I will make another copy of this one and here I will remove this word. A quick tip here if you want to adjust the width to fit the content I just double click here and it will automatically fit the content inside and then I'll create another copy here and remove this first section and now I leave this here because I want to measure the gap between the words so I'll put this in and out of layout and now I'll put it on top just to quickly see the, the gap here it should be 23 and now as a last step I'll put these two together in another outer layout is center and I'll put the gap as zero. Now that I have my text prepared, I can get rid of this and I will change the name to headline. Now let's build the carousel component. I will select my text, drag it here, pressing the option key. And now I can create the other words. It can be anything you want. And I want this to be left aligned. I also have a color save here. I have this linear color save, so I'll apply it. And now I will create a frame, frame selection. And I want this to be the same of my text. I can come here and see that my line height is 115. So I can select my frame and select 115 here. And now I can make a component by pressing Option Command key. And I will change the name to Carousel. If you're liking this video so far, I will really appreciate it if you hit that like button below. It will take you one second and it will really, really help my channel. Now I will create the other variants of my carousel component. I need to create three other variants so I have each word for each variant. I'll create my first one. And as you can see here, I don't, I don't have much space. So I will make this an auto layout. And I will add a huge gap here so it's easier for me to work. And I will uncheck this clip content because I want to see the last variant. And now I will add the other ones. I want to change the name of this so it's a little bit more clean. So I will change this to Word. And the first one is awesome. The second one is cool. This is amazing. And the last one is memorable. Now what we need to do is to place the, the text layer in the right position so that the right word is positioned in the center of my frame. So I will select the, the frame or the text frame. And since I know the height of my of my frame, that is 115, I can position it by just by moving it from here. So I know for sure it is in the center. So this will be minus 115. Again, 115 is the height of my of my text. If I select here, you can see that it's 115. Now for the third one, it should be amazing should be in the center. So this one is two by minus 115. Now amazing is center and the same for the last one. I select my text. And this one will be three times minus 115. And finally, I need to adjust the width of my of my frame. This will be really handy once I replace this here. So that will make sure that my second line is always centered compared to the first line. So I will need to adjust it manually. So now all I need to do is to create the animations. I come here in prototype, select my frame, connect with this second variant. And here we're going to use after delayed. I will use around 3000 milliseconds and we want this to be a smart animate and we're going to use gentle 800 milliseconds. Now the same thing for the second one. And then finally, we're going to connect the last one with the first one 
with the same animation after delay 3000 and that's it now let's replace this component inside my text here and of course one last step i will select all of my variants and i will make sure to clip content and now i can replace this here and see how the prototype looks and that's it. As simple as that. We went from the a boring headline to a, this cool animation. So if you want to learn more about Figma and product design in general, follow me and see you on my next tutorial. Bye bye.